I'm not talking about the written And I don't want to change your life But there's a warm wind blowing the stars around And I'd really love to see you tonight We could go walking through Whitney Park Or take a drive along Stay home and watch TV You see, it really doesn't matter much to me I'm not talking about the winning And I don't want to change your life But there's a warm wind blowing the stars around And I'd really love to see you tonight This was a hit single back in 1976 by England Dan and John Ford Coley, a duo. I'd really love to see you tonight. As you could have seen earlier in the preview, I've played it in two different keys, as in the shapes, of course. The absolute key of the song would be F. So, if you would play this in D, then you need to capo the guitar here on the third fret. If you want to play it in C, as I've already showed you, you need to place it on the fifth. I just put it there where it fit the range of my voice and you really should do the same there. So indeed I am teaching the song in those two keys, both have pros and cons. I think at, uh, in the end I actually prefer the key of C. Be, well, whatever reason. You can of course go for one or the other, whichever one you like best. So, in both keys, well obviously because relatively everything remains the same, all the chords are in there except for chord 7, yes, so three minor chords, three major chords, and yes, that is it. As for the strumming, so regardless of the chords, that is actually pretty doable if you ask me. Speed of eights, and you just keep your hand moving. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four, and 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 one. Yes, all those little uh, subtle thingies I, of course, explain in the lesson there too. Yes, which brings me to the intro. It's obviously played on piano, so I try to kind of transcribe it to the guitar, at least that it works well enough, I suppose. And then you end up with, well, a couple of things that we, of course, need to talk about. As for D, because I am already there uh, still. In D, it would be going from a sus2 to D. Then it goes to a D major 7. Then to an E minor 7 with a D in the bass. Still an E minor to D to a little bit of an A7, and then of course the song starts. So for C, still matching it with the uh, original there, it would kind of look like this. Sorry, yes. See that it sounds a little different because those are the same notes, don't get me wrong, but you're higher up the neck, you're on thicker strings and then it sounds a little different so it really depends on what you like however the C add 9 actually the C major 7 still with the added 9 so C major 9 whatever <laughs> a D minor with a C in the bass D minor to C to G and then the song starts of course I break down the chords for this key for the other key the intro of course for both and then you can decide for yourself whichever one you like to use so as for the progression and how it is arranged well the arrangement is quite straightforward you know an, an intro a verse another verse a chorus an interlude another verse a chorus a bridge a couple more choruses and an outro or it fades out but what the oh yes there is a little bit of syncopation happening in particularly the the choruses yes for example is one and two and three end of the verse you have something like this <sighs> kind of like that so one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and 
so on. So we talk about all those little details throughout the uh, the lesson and when we go through everything. Let me see. Anything else? Well, you need to check it out. It is uploaded now at totallyguitars.com. This is I'd Really Love to See You Tonight by England Dan and John Ford Coey. Indeed. Drop in.